Welcome to Stranded Deep. This is an indie survival game that is super grindy and oddly addicting. How did I get in a private jet? I do not know. But here we are flying over some desert islands conveniently. And here we go. We need to make our way out of the enormous hole in the side of the place and make our way up to the surface. No. Girl, no, turn around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. way up to the surface, to our grindy little life raft, and that's all you get from the plane crash. That's it. So this game is eat, drink, collect, organize, sleep, save. You gotta save. I mean, the graphics are not a lot, but if you have any touch of OCD at all, like I do, there's just something about putting like things with like things. It's very satisfying. Alright, so we'll get our crummy life raft. Watch out for the starfish. Lots of things will hurt you and try to unlive you. And the game is about collecting. Collecting and crafting. So I picked up that rock and just made myself a little rock knife. So this is a little starter island. You get 20, I think 25 islands. And most things are finite resources. Some things are infinite resources. And then you just start out with the basics. Rocks, sticks, leaves. And then you just take the basics and you make stuff. Oh, food. You make the stuff. And then you build the basic stuff. And then once you get more sophisticated stuff, you build more sophisticated stuff. And the goal is to not die. You have to try to stay alive. Eat, drink. Collect. This is my life now. I'm on an island. You only have so much room in your inventory, so... A lot of the satisfaction of the game is actually just organizing and putting things in piles. Yeah, this is it. This is the grind. Who knew you'd get excited just finding leaves on trees? Now these regenerate after a while. I think, I don't know how many game days it is. But some things do not regenerate. Like the rocks there. I cannot mine the rocks right now because I do not have a pickaxe. Because it is too sophisticated for my basic progress in the game. 
Do I wish I had a pickaxe? Yes, I do. Patience. Patience, my friend. These leaves are life at the beginning because you can make ropes out of them. So if you were playing the game straight through, you'd probably just, um, I think you build, you put a plane together and you try to fly out, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to gather all the resources from all the islands and then I'm going to build a massive mansion in the middle. And that's what I'm going to do. Crafting. Crafting and eating. Actually, I need to craft some things before I can eat, unless I'm just going to eat a coconut. It is so grindy though, and you can waste a lot of time in this because you have things that you have your to-do list that you want to get done, and then you get distracted because maybe a crab is right in front of your face and you just want to kill it, but you were going to go make something and then you forget, and then pretty soon you're like two hours into the game. Yeah, that is this game. It's not a bad grind. It's mindless grind. There's a little tutorial at first. You know you're super basic when you get the tutorial. Leaves get you rope. A rope get you a knife. An actual knife. What I really need though is an axe because I need to chop down palm trees. Oh, my Apple Watch. Your Apple Watch shows you, you know, your skill set and if you're hungry or thirsty or sick. Organizing, stacking, collecting, eating, drinking, saving. Oh, I don't know why it wants me to cut up the crab already because I don't even have a campfire. And I need wood to have a campfire. So I need an axe. How does my Apple Watch even work? How do you charge it if you do not have creature comforts such as electricity? So before I build my mansion, I'm just going to go through islands and islands just where I speed things up because even though I enjoy the grind, I don't think it would make a good video just to go like 25 islands full of just grind. Although there are entertaining moments, I'm not going to lie. It's sometimes it's pretty fun. For example, you get these crates. Uh, this island, I don't know if you saw that ship, this ship is the best one and it has so many crates on it that you swim through and get. And then on 
uh, and some of those crates are lanterns and like most of the stuff that you get I just to me it's pointless I don't even care but I do love the lanterns it's so dumb like when I see the lanterns I just get so happy it's a happy moment honestly if I could just get three lanterns in every crate I would be so stoked it would it would make my whole life do I wish I could just have every crate full of lanterns Crafting. Finally, I have an app. Now the real chopping down of palm trees can be in. And you have to. Up. Oh, if you're out in the sun too long, then you have to cool down because your SPF rating goes up too high. So you need to go take a little dip. I actually need to build a water still so that I can drink. Or I guess if you if you don't have a water still, you can drink coconuts. But you can't drink too many in a row because you'll get sick. It is not good. Out in the sun too long, go in the water. Do I wish I had a misting system? Yes. Yes, I do. And some sunscreen. Actually, you can make sunscreen with some of the plants. See, they made me cut up that crab, and if you have the food in your inventory for too long, I think one game day, then it goes, it spoils which is disgusting in and of itself because it will make you sick and throw up and also if you just try to throw, pitch it out then flies come and I don't like flies on my island so you need to cook the stuff Pretty much right when you cut it up. True story. Binoculars. Uh, those vehicle parts are to a gyrocopter, which I don't know. I don't really care because I'm not doing the end mission. I'm just going to build a big house. It gets a little crazy too when you have too much stuff because it gets a little crowded and uh, you just have to keep everything organized on your island or it makes you a little nutty. See the crate? The crate's so good. We need a lantern. One of the annoying things is sometimes it'll give you too many of one item like binoculars. You only really need one binoculars game. You don't need seven pairs of binoculars. Just one. And then just give me lanterns. The rest of my whole inventory can just be lanterns. Yeah, I'll just put all my food in one place. All my finite resources, all in one place. That's how I like it. See, binoculars. You only need one pair. I already have two. Yeah. Alright, we really need to make that shelter because you have to save and sleep. And if you don't save and then something tries to unlive you, then you'll 
feel dying. It's only been one day. And it is a survival game, so you're trying to stay alive. We really need the water still and the shelter. I get so distracted though, because I know that's really important, but then I'll see a rock and I'm like, oh, pick up the rock. Which is dumb because I really need water. Right? I don't need the rock, I need the water. But it just feels like procrastinating if you wait to pick up a rock that's right in front of you, right? Don't eat too many coconuts. It's not pretty either. It's the same deal as the spoiled food. You gotta stack everything together that belongs together. Groups with groups. Nope, the food goes over in the food pile. I don't know why that's there. Let's make that shelter. We need the campfire. But we also need shelter. We need a shelter. We need a water still. We need the... What do you call the wood? The kindling wood. The moonlight is so beautiful. We need some creature comforts up in here. We need some Taco Bell. Do I want some Taco Bell on this island? But I'm gonna get fish. We're gonna have crab. We're not gonna have Taco Bell. And <laughs> we're gonna have crab for a long time. Crafting and cooking. Cooking and drinking. We need to make that shelter. We need to make water. We need those palm fronds. We're doing pretty good though, because we got the axe, which even the palm fronds would have been a lot harder to do just with a knife or with the rock knife. We're doing pretty good. Night, night. I'm probably super thirsty. My skills are low. Yes, I am super thirsty. Do I need a coffee drink? Yes, I do. can drink a coconut. If you clean it, you clean it by hitting it. I'm not really sure how that works. And then you hit it more and then it's food. I don't know. 
There's something about the music to so this game. I mean, the graphics aren't that good. But they're good enough. And the music is nice. It's not really like spa music, but it's... It's like music that if you really were on a desert island, it would make you feel placated like you could survive it. We gotta put our stuff together to make the water still. We need water. You can't drink too many coconuts. See how everything is grayed out? In the beginning, you can only build basic stuff with your basic resources, your basic tools. But this is my life now, so I just have to get more sophisticated. When I build my house, I'm just gonna make it like a complete spa day. People would love to have an island like this. And now I live here, so... Do I wish I had Wi-Fi on my island? Yeah, I do. I need cloth. Cloth is weird because it's a finite resource at the beginning, but then later in the game it, it's infinite because you have a, you'll build a loom and you can make cloth out of leaves. There's the water still. Yes, now we can drink. We can drink, we can eat, we can sleep, we can save, we can collect, we can craft. Like, mostly now we just have to, like, hopefully I'll be able to find so many lanterns. But the biggest to do is probably, aside from surviving and eating and drinking, is just finding the proper resources to build my fancy raft. Because the raft we have, it sucks. And you could see how long it would take to play out this game of 25 islands. I mean, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna fast forward once I move it along. Just so I can get all the resources on this one island. Which I did do before, but I don't know, I was the guy character and I wanted my character to be a girl. I'll literally spend an hour crafting my character and then just, you know, 10 minutes playing the game. I don't know why I did this. You can just hit R1 and it'll give you an offering of whatever you can craft. 
whatever's in your inventory. So I could just have hurried up and whipped out these gears. But no, I have to do things the hard way. I need to craft a surfboard. You really can't craft a surfboard, but you probably could just do like a mini raft. Just one square big. I should try that. everywhere for stuff. No lantern. <laughs> These groupers are yummy food because they're actually too medium food I think and everything else you know, except for sharks or hogs are small foods. And they're so easy to get because they're fatties. See, this is why it takes me forever because I see a rock, I have to pick it up. Like, just go do the thing already. Oh, of course I have to get the cloth. Oh, and the leaf. If you're easily distracted, this is a terrible game for you. Oh, another rock. I'm surprised I didn't pick that up. Oh, okay, I did. So that ship out there, it has so many crates on it, it has, I don't know, like, I don't know, like six, eight crates, sometimes there's more, and you can usually spawn a shark if you go out there too, and there's good stuff out there, and there's usually a lantern. This is the sucky wrap. I do not like it. It goes so slow. I need a catamaran. I should try to build a catamaran. Store food with food. At this point, living on this desert island, you would probably still feel a little excited because it's new, kind of a new experience, but really, I would be so annoyed.
because like right now there's not even any game music on. You don't have a radio. That's what I like about Fallout, because Fallout, everywhere you go, there's a radio that plays a different station. And you can only take four drinks at a time. Drink, eat, save. Collect, stack, organize, sleep. It is a grind. It's a grindy grinder son. That's all the game is. And check in your Apple Watch. Just trying to stay alive. I think I do get into it too much though, because I really do think, like, what if this was real? Like, how would I hold up under that stress? How would I hold up never having peanut M&Ms again? Not that I even have peanut M&Ms, but the fact that you could have them if you wanted them. You could just go to the store. Oh my gosh, those green buoys are great. When I build my super cool raft, I'm that I use those exclusively. I don't use the tires. I don't use the barrels. I have to have those green buoys. You know, and this is like on the other islands you're always going through shipwrecks too these ships are the best and there's only a few of them it's all the good stuff you know and hopefully there'll be some lanterns that torch right there who cares about the flares the torch is important because you really need it at night see another set of binoculars like game. How many binoculars do you think I need? Oh, there's another pair of binoculars. Up, oh, lantern! Yes. Alright, see this is well worth it because even if there's only one lantern on this whole ship, on the whole island, for me that's still a win because I am all about the lanterns. It's the best. Like, that is the best thing that, that comes in any crate. I'm See, I'm so annoyed with the flare gun, because if... I mean, even if you finish the game out, you're only going to just use it once. It's not like the 4th of July fireworks on GTA where you do it for fun. It's annoying. I get so distracted by these sharks. It is shark week. I'm annoyed right now too because I don't know how thirsty I am. I I don't even know how many I don't know how many spears I have. I really should just be collecting everything on the ship. But I mean the shark is right here. Different times of day too, the water gets a little murkier, it gets a little clouder cloudier and um it's harder to kill a shark. 
That was a total miss. That was a direct hit. Because it goes... Ch Ch Alright, once again, I am entirely distracted when I could be making progress. Collecting stuff on the ship. Honestly, I have stuff to do, and I'm just lobbing missiles over here at the stupid shark that I can barely see. Do you see it come in a little bit? Like it's trying to get me? I don't think so. Watching this back, I realize I hardly check my watch at all to see how thirsty or hungry I am. But geez, move it along, girl. I went just to collect stuff already. Well, I guess that's some progress. I'm working on my skill set. why that flashlight is so good because it enables you entirely to do stuff at night no lantern oh I'm not gonna be greedy and need two lanterns but if I had two lanterns on this ship, I'd be so happy. I would be grateful. Let's have some daily gratitude. Today, I will be grateful for two lanterns on a ship. <laughs> Stuff is just junk. But because everything is scarce on a desert island, you feel like you have to take everything. Being on a desert island would make you the biggest hoarder ever. You're like, so what? I need the 17th pair of binoculars because I'm on a desert island. Oh, another pair of binoculars. Great. I'll trade you 17 pairs of binoculars and 100 alpacas for a coffee drink right now. That corrugated metal too, it kind of rubs my OCD the wrong way because it's so big and bulky 
that, it just needs to be put away in one of those crates ASAP. It's too big and bulky just to be sitting there. I did try to put um, like three crates in a crate because there's three spots in each crate and I was like, oh, wouldn't that be great if I could put three, three, three things in each crate and then put three crates in a crate because then you know, I could have like 27 items in my inventory, but no, you can't. You can't do that. It won't let you put a crate in a crate. It won't even let me put crates in my life raft storage. shark is too close for comfort. This is better, just going and getting your to-do list taken care of. So what if that shark is going around and around? It's still going to be there in the morning. Oh my gosh, I hope that there is a you-know-what in here, a lantern. hammers though. You actually kind of do need more than one hammer, so I won't complain. I feel like there has to be at least one more lantern. have one lantern, but I just want one more. Just one more lantern. much better. I am just taking care of business. I'm just going and getting the stuff. Yep. Just knocking it out. The name of the game, collecting everything. Eat, drink, collect. Organize. Yeah. 
I would probably get so much more stuff done if I just muted the sound. You'd have to be so much more careful though, because a shark would always be on your tail. Shark tail. You know, and if you don't do good with your time management on this game, you only have yourself to blame. There's no one else to blame, it's just you. You don't have a partner, you don't have an employee or a boss, it's just you. Sometimes I do get irritated though, because then I look at all the stuff I've got and I'm like, this is just all junk. Especially later stages in the game, you got 25 islands worth of junk. When what I really want is just the lanterns and the wood. Way to blanket. Lantern. Did you see the lantern? Leather is really important at the beginning too. I mean, you can make leather, it replenishes if you get, if you kill, if you unlive a shark and then you get a, a tanning loom or whatever you call it, then you can make more leather, but it takes a lot to make one of those. Yeah, this is it. This right here is is such a it's the grind. You know, and this is only island one. Not all islands are this grindy though, because a lot of them don't have these good ships like this, so you just have like three baby ships. And some of them don't even have crates. So you're just like, oh, I just got two crates off this island. Big deal. But it's still a grind because you have to chop off up all the palm trees, you have to collect all the rock, all the clay out of the ocean, and like that. So it's a lot, still a lot of collecting, and then you have to transport it. So to do it the way I want to do it, it's probably going to take probably a month. I mean, it's not like I play this game every day. Just the problem is, when you do play it, you can burn off a couple hours before you even realize it. It's a good grindy. It's not a bad grindy. anyone has ever played it where they've just gotten straight up all lanterns and all of the crates. Or even in one ship, if they've just gotten all lanterns 
That would be my dream. My dream iteration of this game mode. I wonder if that's weird if other people prefer like other objects if they were like oh I love when I get you know cloth or maybe there's some weirdo out there that loves the binoculars and they're just like oh look another pair of binoculars this is so great I don't think so I have built more than one gyrocopter before. They're just such a pain. And then you have to build the fuel and you have to um, plant potato plots, like farm plots with potatoes and make potato fuel. Yup. That is a major downgrade, going from a PJ to a gyrocopter. There is a wrecked up plane, not wrecked up, but like a, a beat up plane on one of the islands. Really it's kind of like 24 islands, because that 25th island has a crappy plane that you can fly out in. the actual ending. No spoilers here. Although this game came out in 2015, so if you don't know what happens by now, I don't know what to tell you. Yep. Grindy grinder son. It's just more putting like stuff like stuff. It's like playing that game Go Fish. You gotta remember where the thing is so you can put it with the other thing. Yes. And if you do have OCD, it is success. They're also big and bulky. It bugs me if I don't have a whole crate available to store them in together because you want to store like things with like things. And see, there's always five of them and then one's left over. I don't like that. I'll figure it out. There's two more batches of them. I'll have to move everything around again. That's what takes so long, because then you get more stuff, and then you have to move everything around again. And then I still have to kill the shark. And then I don't know how thirsty or hungry I am. I know I don't need to sleep. I should look at my Apple Watch then. You don't got much time to look around. Ah, oh, see, I was thirsty. Now 
I'm gonna have to make a break for it. If I can get over there around that shipping container, then, um, see, now I go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I got it made. Drink, eat. Save, sleep. Assess. Yeah, so anyways, that's kind of the gist of how it works. And that's the plan. I'll have to inevitably go back out there I'll kill a couple sharks. I'll get um, the stuff, and I think there's probably still a couple more crates on that ship, so there might be some more lanterns. And then I'll have to mine everything off of this island. All the I don't know. This is the middle island, so I might not mine everything off of it if I'm going to build my big mansion here. So we'll see. But I'll probably... Um, close this one for now and then the next one I do I'll just speed it up so I'd kind of like to continue though until I do all 24 islands and it'll just be like so many resources I can get it to glitch out it'll be amazing so that's it ugh grouper so good all right, again, I'm getting distracted. All right, well, that's it for now. See you in the next one.